The first one will be presented by Kamil Gashinsky, uh, Virtuoso Band like company, project wise 365, cooperation on projects for uh, SMEs in design. Uh, welcome, uh, very warm welcome. I hope you hear me well. Okay, great. Uh, the uh, topic of uh, today's meeting is a product named ProjectWise365, uh, and I would like to briefly tell you why it can be useful uh, for uh, small and medium uh, companies in projects in designing. Uh, so ProjectWise365, it is a platform or selection of uh, services for uh, storage and uh, managing and cooperation. Uh, data is kept in the cloud with easy access via um, uh, browser, computer browser, or on a computer or a tablet or mobile phone. Uh, we only need internet connection and uh, in a basic version, if we do not need to use uh, project-wise drive application, which I'll discuss later, we do not need any application to use this service. Last year at InfraBeam, we were talking about uh, ProjectWise 365 uh, services. That was the name of the portal at that time, and we were presenting the way of uh, cooperation. Uh, however, it appeared that that interface was not too convenient for users, so a natural development of these services uh, brought us to ProjectWise 365 portal. So this is the difference. Uh, historically, those services were earlier uh, provided uh, through uh, connected services, and we could, five, uh, we could find uh, ProjectWise 365 services there. Now the tool uh, switched over to uh, 365 portal, and we have access from the level of internet browser. So um, what does cooperation look like in a small uh, design team where we have two engineers and a project manager, like in this case? So ProjectWise 365, actually is uh, on the web page uh, via a browser, so we use a browser to get through to it, whereas all users of the project get uh, connected via synchronizing uh, with the cloud, and we can exchange, be it uh, design files or other data, or even we can be using files which are placed there as references, and uh, I will uh, talk about this later based on an example. This is also a product uh, very useful for uh, one-man companies, for example, for people working from home, from office, the location uh, changing, but they do not need uh, to invest in more expensive things like a server. They need to have a quick access to data, for example, doing inspection at site, and then they can uh, use access uh, via mobile uh, devices, and it's easy to uh, put in pictures from such an inspection at site and then from home uh, have access to the data, process the data later on, or create reports. Now let me move on to a live example. This is uh, uh, what the uh, service ProjectWise 365 looks like. Uh, we can find it on ProjectWise 365 Bentley.com page, and after entering, we have unlimited access to the um, uh, projects. We can create as many projects as we like, and uh, in this case, yesterday, I created a project named InfraBeam. So uh, after entering, we have a project summary, summary of a project where we can see all available information about the project, so what is uh, currently going on in the project. We have comments which have been created. We have uh, a review of documents, uh, official dispatches, and requests for information or design tasks uh, I'll discuss later. So uh, quite easily, everybody who enter and log into their panel will see what is going on in the project and what is the current status of it, because we have status in the form of a color, so information which is new. Uh, approaching the deadline or information which is uh, already delayed, and those which are approaching, uh, coming the nearest days. Uh, we also have information that at least from the position of uh, project manager, we have some uh, review of what is going on in the project. So practically, we start our work from creating our team. So we can, uh, in 
the tab named Manage Your Team, we can create, we can add uh, using uh, email address, we can add users. And this is uh, all our team on InfraBeam from Bentley uh, this year, and we can allocate uh, roles to them. The roles actually have two applications here. One is uh, defining access to folders. The second is determining a certain access to services in the portal. So if we, for example, don't want uh, somebody to, uh, I mean, member of our team to be able to add or modify roles or manage access, we can uh, switch off uh, and uh, uh, record uh, these uh, settings, uh, save these settings, so then the person will not have access to it. Next stage is uh, allocation to uh, access uh, to these roles. Uh, because this is the main repository of our information about the project. So each folder which I created yesterday, uh, I um, uh, created a system of folders. In every folder, we can determine access to individual roles. And it, here we have name of the role here, team member, for example, in this case. And it looks that that role uh, has no access in this folder. So they can neither read nor write nor have full control over files, so uh, simply for this role, this folder will not be displayed at all. And it is similarly done for other roles. Here we have those basic ones, but we can uh, actually uh, display all uh, of those which we have. And here we can, can determine access uh, to the folder for individual um, participants or roles which they have allocated to. Uh, this is also um, an interesting point for project-wise uh, uh, design integration users. Here I have an example of a login uh, to ProjectWise. If somebody has this information, for example, they uh, cooperate with a person who has uh, who have full project wise and they only need to have access to the folder. They do not need to buy the full license because from this service they can create such a connection and exchange this information or have access uh, uh, via this link, server, data source, uh, we can connect to the given uh, user and exchange information with them. It is a solution cheaper by the fact that we do not need to buy full project-wise if we are only subcontractor in a small area. So now back to the documents. How does it uh, go on? How does it happen that these documents uh, physically end up in uh, this folder in the cloud? Let me quickly show you uh, the process of adding. So let me uh, shift the window. We um, actually drag this file, and it is added, and it becomes part of our repository in the cloud. We can have access to this file from the position of the cloud itself. So simply we open uh, via application. Now when I click, uh, we'll see what happens. First, this application will be trying to switch off uh, uh, to do so-called checkout for us. And then we open the file directly from the cloud. We can introduce some modifications, uh, save them, and then do check in. So at this moment, users who will be using this file already will be using the corrected version. So if we now uh, play it, we will see our modification. So uh, this added text. If we leave the uh, file, uh, well, using checkout, uh, what Bartek did yesterday at 5 uh, p.m., then we are not able, actually, to open this file. Yes, we can uh, open it for reading only. We cannot be modifying it unless we uh, do so-called file release, uh, and then it will be available for everybody already. And uh, every file uh, actually uh, per carries some information. We have uh, information about when it was opened, when uh, additional modifications were done. We can additionally uh, export it to CAD uh, file, so we can in this way control access uh, or individual modifications in the file, which. Uh, were created on the project. Uh, next, very interesting application is uh, opening uh, working files directly from the cloud. And uh, here, let me move on to the documents. 
in a structural folder, I have a file which was created in Open Building Designer, whereas I will open it uh, from MicroStation because this is my uh, mm, uh, program for opening DGN. Uh, I would like to show you only access to data. Uh, so we open MicroStation uh, uh, and uh, pick from the file from the cloud. It is uh, in the cloud and configuration is only set up in our computer. So in this way, we have easy access to files which are stored in the cloud. So we can open, modify, or even uh, just for uh, reviewing, uh, if somebody put in a model for verification, for checking, we can actually uh, look at this, uh, see this file and work on it. So now I'm switching it off. It is still in the checkout mode, so other users can only open this file for reading uh, from the version before uh, my opening. So if we do the check-in, then this file will be available for all users, uh, all participants to this project. Uh, next very interesting application of this cloud is, for example, creating uh, a reference base. So if somebody is using reference tool, uh, MicroStation, uh, quite easily we can get connected to the cloud uh, using so-called Project Wise Drive. Uh, it is a small application which we uh, install to synchronize data from our computer. And uh, here we have access to our files on the in the cloud from the position of the computer from Microsoft Explorer. Uh, I enter our project and uh, now in case of our MicroStation example, we have alignment, for example, it can be data from the surveyor placed in the cloud from the surveyor's perspective, but we use it on our computer only as a reference, which will, will keep uh, working uh, on this reference which is uh, placed in the cloud. Now, very quickly, let me connect some uh, architectural file to it. And thus, all the data uh, being in the cloud can be used for modeling on our computer. We can be in various locations, but the data is in one place as if we were working on the server. What is interesting, if one of those files uh, is modified, automatically we can overwrite uh, these files simply. Uh, synchronizing once again, we can override this reference. Let me speed up a bit because time is uh, coming to an end and I would like to show you a few interesting applications. So here we also have a design task, uh, so simple uh, project uh, or design tasks which we can allocate. Well, it's good that we can define time, so it is a kind of official uh, official uh, order to send, for example, the recent material list, and then we define time uh, being deadline uh, for us to receive this list. It is uh, officially recorded in the project. Next interesting application is so-called uh, design document review, so we can be reading PDF files and we can be commenting on them. So here we can be using various kinds of comments in the form of lines, texts, um, or various stamps, it allows us uh, to um, carry out some analysis of documentation in PDF format. Uh, they do not need to be drawings. They can be PDF documents w which we want to mark on and comment on and create comments. So from every comment, we can create uh, a remark which we can manage afterwards. Let me uh, jump over to the project once again. Next, we have uh, something what is called uh, Reviewable, so official uh, uh, dispatch documents. And uh, here we can create an inquiry, a request for information, and uh, using a template. Uh, we will have it generated. So, for example, we need uh, the recent architectural drawings. We select one of our participants. We can add CC. We can attach files from our clouds, uh, cloud if it is necessary. And then such a document can be sent. Uh, here we also 
can specify uh, how much time we give the person to uh, receive the document and we uh, determine uh, the response due date. So based on this, we will know what is happening with the document. Very useful tool for people uh, who control documentation outgoing, incoming uh, during the project. And last point I would like to focus on is so-called design review. And now we have four formats available which are currently being uh, processed. It is uh, DWG uh, and uh, DGN Bentley uh, so, uh, and IFC and Revit. So creating such a design review I have opened in these tabs, at least in Revit and in, in DGNA. Uh, in the meantime, I'm getting connected. AFC, such opening lasts about one minute. In this case, it is a most basic example from Revita, which we uh, receive in a version for testing. So we have a browser, or pseudo uh, Beam browser, because here we can move about uh, the 3D environment. We have measurement tools. We have uh, tools for filtration, so we can filtrate the model uh, from the perspective of uh, layers which are uh, generated. And what's most important, we have access to this information. So if we uh, Mm, highlight uh, given a wall. Well, it works very slowly today. Maybe uh, the next example will be successful. We have access to the information which was generated from Revita and geo coordination. And what's more, we can create comments here. Actually, in this uh, example, I don't have it here. I have one comment created. This is a file from last year which we presented at InfraBeam and such comments which uh, end up later in the folder of uh, uh, comments, of remarks, which can be exported to Excel, for example. In this given comment, we can enter the notes where you can actually create uh, not everything went according to plan. So uh, data notes which work like an open chat where with a person who is in charge of this note, we can exchange information, create uh, additional photos, for example, and uh, explanations. It is quite a good tool. Uh, maybe three at once is not a good idea to have three uh, once open. Uh, if time allows, we will manage to open a uh, file. Uh, time is uh, coming to an end, so if uh, there are any questions uh, appearing uh, on the chat, uh, you are kindly requested to ask two or three questions. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm, mm, I will try to open this uh, AFC uh, file to see what, uh, does it look, what does it look like in this browser in design module. If there are no questions so far, let me quickly show you my email address and you are kindly encouraged to contact me. In case of questions, uh, test version is available at uh, projectwise365bentley.com uh, webpage. Uh, you can use uh, this uh, for 30 days free of charge. I suggest you uh, actually use it as a team, as few people. Uh, so uh, project manager is seen only when a few people are registered. Uh, so. Uh, you have to create uh, your mm, ad address and uh, get registered. You will have 30 days of free access. Uh, maybe time was uh, sh too short to show you this browser, but I do encourage you to contact me, and then we can uh, talk about details later on. Of course, so uh, I encourage you to contact Kamil directly, car mm, expert on Project Wise, uh, uh, Bentley Company.